morning everybody it's alice the dragon and we have more stardew valley because we just yeah we got to play it <laughs> all right uh i forget what we were actually doing so let's just take a look at the fortune teller uh neutral spirits so that's all right we of course need to water the plants we've got a little quartz thing here Ah, yep, here's the crab pot, and we got a snail out of it, and we need to put some of this nice bait in there, so, come on now, come on, there we go, put that back, alright, and, yeah, yeah, we have our chicken coop now, we have our little chickens, and, uh, I think... Oh, hello, little chickies. How are you doing? Uh, yeah. Natasha and Sophia. They are cuties. Let's uh, just get some of this garbage going. I'm going to do the CDs. And I want to clean up the yard. That's that's really that's really a priority right now. So, you know what? Sell the snail too. We don't have a kitchen, so we can't make sashimi yet. Um, I don't think we even know how to make sashimi yet. Anything in the taps? Nothing in the taps. All right. So, yeah, we only have 348 coins. If we want an upgrade to one of our tools, we're going to need the um blarg we're, we're gonna need to need 2,000 coins uh so until then let's just smash some rocks there we go i thought i heard something oh. and of course we get a whole bunch of wood out of this we're gonna get lots of wooden stone Yep, just knock it over. I am feeling pretty proud of myself because uh, yesterday I did a lot of writing on my story, which I do want to eventually publish. Um, I forget whether I've mentioned um, I've mentioned it on this channel, but uh, the working title for it right now is uh, Anna Boleyn. And it's the story of this girl who lived, um, well, in the start of the story, she lives in uh, a very small town at the end of a trading route that has recently become obsolete. And, uh, you know, the... <sighs> like, it's really hard for me to explain just because there are so many details that are important to the story. But yeah, I was able to sum it up you know, in, in three parts because you know, there's essentially three books in the story. Um, yeah, the girl gets kidnapped. She, is, she impersonates uh, someone of the royal family, not, not of her choice, of course, but... Uh, and uh, she is accomplice to the, um, essentially the extermination of, uh, of an entire royal family. So that's fun. And uh, I'm very proud of what I've done so far. And uh, yesterday I was working on this scene where... Yeah, she runs away from the enforcers who are trying to capture her, and uh, and she meets a runaway slave boy, and uh, this is in the middle of a blizzard. So yeah, he's in this fishing shack. She's looking for shelter. She knows that she's going to freeze to death if uh, if she can't get inside, and they end up having. Uh, Kind of a serious conversation, you know, in between the cracks of the door about what her uh, stance on slavery is. And this was something that she had 
really never thought about. She knew that... Oh, I'm getting tired. Should get some food. We have green beans left, don't we? Let's go back and get some green beans. Maybe throw some stuff uh, in the recycler. Like, the more... The more... Uh, Recyclers we get, the faster this is gonna go. Uh, let's see. Oh, no, that. Well, I do want the green beans. And let's see. We're putting stuff in there. Oh, that, no. I've got a separate farming thing. Uh, yeah. Uh, and a quartz crystal, why not? Alright, uh, that is. Looking pretty good. Didn't I have a... Yeah. I have the gardening bin here. And I... Yeah, I might as well get some coal in the... Oh, wait, no. I don't have any copper to smelt, so... Never mind on that. How's the recycler doing? Still working on it. Oh, I forgot to let the chickies out. I know the little chicky, the little baby chickies. Oh, no, never mind. They are coming out. And going right into the grass, good chickies. Oh, yeah. And I gotta eat something. You gotta remember to eat something, guys. Like, I made the mistake for a while of just not eating unless I was really, really hungry. But, um,. Uh, yeah, even, even uh, just having occasional snacks over the course of the day is um, a lot better for you. My mom and I recently uh, made this recipe for, uh, you know, we call them power cookies. And they contain, uh, you know, flax meal and uh, nutritional yeast. The... Flax meal obviously uh, has omega-3 fatty acids, which are definitely good for you. And uh, the nutritional yeast has B vitamins and other nice things. So, yeah, these cookies essentially end up being a quick energy boost when it, whenever you eat them. Alright, uh, this is looking really nice. Getting, getting more area for grass. Nope, don't. Not from that side. We want it to. We want to chop it from this side, so that we uh, don't lose anything. And there's worms there. And I don't have my hoe with me. I, I'm not that desperate for clay, but it could also be one of those books. So I should probably head back and grab some of those. Or, uh, grab the hoe, I mean. Alright. What is, what is that sound? Must be the, the chickies in the grass. Ah, good chickies. Uh, hoe, 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 hoe. Uh, that is what I'm looking for. There we go. Uh, let's make some room. Do. Doop, doop. I'm actually done with the watering can, so... And I don't need the, the fishing pole quite yet. Tomorrow, unless the spirits are, are happy, then I am going to go mining. Mining is a good thing to do. Oh yeah, I, I planted those trees. So that those are good spots for trees. Let's go back here. Oops, come on. There you go. Uh, a little bit of... There's not much grass over here, but that's fine. It will eventually become grass. And that'll be very nice. Uh, I wonder if I should put the recipe for the power cookies um, you know, up for people to try, because they're actually really good really good. <laughs> yeah, after you've had them a... That tree was really... Uh, uh, that that was a tough tree. There we go. Eat the green bean. Eat the green bean. There we go. I've also... You know, for... 
you know, for a long time there, I had um, River Went Dry stuck in my head. Um, if you saw my, uh, my video about uh, cleaning the fish tank, uh, yeah, that, that song is featured in there. By the way, Josh Woodward, if you are listening, I love you. <laughs> Uh, yeah, good stuff. But, um, I had to essentially figure out, oh, this, like, I want that tuft of grass to stay good. So let's chop this instead of, um, instead of slashing it. All right. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. Yeah, I had to replace the song that was stuck in my head with something. So I started listening to uh, a lot of uh, heifer, excuse me, heffervescent, and uh, that's a really good band, especially if you like the um, uh, like almost '60s style rock, like early '60s, late '50s, I think. Yeah, they've just got that bounce to them, <laughs> and. Uh, and it's a and it's a lot it's a lot of fun. And uh yeah, one of the ones that I keep coming back to is called Electric Towers because it's got one of those like it's got a piano melody that like it it gives me the shivers. I like there are sometimes certain songs or parts of songs that just really touch me in a way. Uh, yeah, especially haunting melodies. It's it's the kind of stuff that speaks to your soul. And I think it's always good for a person to have music that really touches them. Uh, music and oh my gosh, is it that late already? Wow. Cleaning up the yard takes a lot of time, which is, oop, hello slime, which is very true. That, uh, yeah, I've, I've been cleaning up yards for um, a couple of houses uh, belonging to my clients at work. Oop. Bat, 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 get away. Give me your wings. Yeah, two bat wings. Awesome. Just, oh, I'm tired again. All right, all right, all right. Okay, are you back inside, chickies? Good. Let's close your door. And uh, might as well just call it an early night. Oop. Ah. ah, successfully blocked him. There we go. There we go. Got him. Um, 16 bat wings. Now, was it 10 that I needed? I'm half tempted to go to the community center, but it's pretty late. You know what? Let's do it. Let's do it. Just to check. And we'll have enough time to get back before midnight. Like, that's a full two hours away, so we're good. Yeah, it at our house, uh, we drink a lot of tea. There's almost always a pot of hot tea, uh, you know, waiting for everybody. See, we got time. We got time. Uh, we go to the furnace room. There we go. Hello, hello. Little spirit sprite things. Adventurer's bundle. Yes, it was ten bat wings. All right, so now... We need 99 slimes. And that'll do us. And, you know, we're going to keep having slimes pop up on our farm. Which is nice. And now we can start selling the bat wings. Hooray. Hooray. Getting more monies is always nice. Yes, I said monies. <laughs> uh, yep. And, uh... Things are good. On the subject of uh, tea drinking, I actually, um, I brought 
two of my favorite mugs to Montana. And uh, one of them is white and straight-sided. And another one is this handmade greenish, bluish with a brown rim. Uh, actually, why, why are you not recycling stuff? Let's sell... I'm going to sell the sap just because. Uh, the quartz. Oops, nope, not that. The bat wing. There we go. I'm glad that the trunk, I guess, is what it is. Oop, I hear another bat. Hello, bat. Come on. Get it. There we go. I'm glad that it lets you take the last item back. So, yes, it's getting late. Yes, yes, yes. All right. Materials. Unfortunately, you can't really... No, that's not a material. Uh, that... Unfortunately, you can't really um, see everything or, or label these chests. All right. Good night. Let's see what we got from the bat wings and, you know, not a terribly, pro I stand corrected. <laughs> we were apparently productive. So, good stuff. I want to go mining. Let's go mining. Unless it would make more sense to go fishing. Okay, uh, good humor today. You know, I'm still gonna go mining. Um, I forgot to check the weather report last time, but it sounds nice and sunny. Yep, clear and sunny tomorrow as well. Alright. Uh, there we go. And we are going... So, Oh, check that out. Yeah, we have a pepper now. That is very nice. Let's get ourselves set up for going mining and also we want the watering can yeah, I'm gonna switch these around just just because I am anal retentive about um, my inventory organization which is always a good idea well maybe not always a good idea but in in terms of inventory you do want to have a good handle on uh, what you're doing and it's nice to be able to go back reliably to certain things and be like I know that my sword is in slot one and uh, if I were oh, another quartz want to get in I want to get that quartz alright there we go now we put those in there the periwinkle goes in there I thought periwinkles were some f sort of flower. <laughs> I also want to give this pepper to the... Ah, yes. Uh, oh wait, no, we've we've done the sweet pea already. Eh, we can, we can still sell it. I am getting distracted, but I, I want to find one of those uh, spice berries to put in the community center because I think that'll complete the summer collection which would be nice all right up past the playground i don't even know what this is supposed to be i guess it was supposed to be a community garden or something yeah there's really nothing in here except for weeds yeah ev every community has a lot like that <laughs> Where it's just like, yeah, nobody's really doing anything with it. It's overgrown. And what am I doing? What am I doing? The, the pantry is this way. <laughs> I wanted to go to the pantry. So let's go to the pantry. There we go. Summer crops. First of many. There we go. And... 
Yeah, th this is like the foraging area. Yeah, we wanted that spice berry. Ah, oh, well. So, off we go to get stuff from the mines. And I am still carrying the watering can and a bunch of other stuff that I really don't need. So, let's let's take a detour. We'll go we'll go back. Bella, are you woofing? <laughs> She's just looking at me with the with her big brown eyes and is just like, "What?" I recorded a uh a thing uh, that was Adventures with Bella and uh, we went out for a walk and, and saw a Montana traffic jam which is which is fun so I'll be putting that up at some point if I haven't already do 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 I am actually getting a bit head in, ahead in uh, my recordings, which is uh, which is good. It's nice to have a buffer, just in case, uh, just in case for a while you don't actually want to do any recording. But uh, I've just been charging ahead on this Stardew Valley, which is it's just. It's fun and relaxing. And uh, I hope that uh, some people enjoy it. I do want to... Uh, yeah, I want food. <laughs> Ooh, that's a gold star grape. That's cool. Uh, I'll, I'll be able to eat that later. So let's go down. Yeah, I was... Uh, Oh yeah, we're gonna want to do fishing down here at some point because this is how you get that cave fish. So, uh, level twenty. We'll have to remember that. Come on, give me, give me some copper. There we go. Yep. Oh, I hear you. I hear you, mosquito. Ah, I guessed right which direction it was coming from. Oh, there's another one. There we go. Uh, come on now. Yeah. Got it. Uh, I'm just going to do a little. I don't need to do all of it. Yeah, all right. Uh, nothing? Nothing. All right. So time to go looking for that. Well, th yeah, one of those. Slime, gimme slime. Once I get the axe upgrade, I'll be able to get to that area where all the hardwood is. And, uh... And, uh... Uh, get a bunch of slimes that way. So an axe upgrade might not be the worst idea. Lots of stuff over this way. That's pretty nice. There's a ladder. I don't really need fiber, so it's probably going to end up getting dumped on the ground when uh, when my inventory gets full. There we go. Nothing. Let's go down. It would be pretty cool to get down to level 25 today. Oh my god! Copper! Copper everywhere! Oh, yes! Oh, no! Okay. Be ready for the mosquito. Come here, mosquito. Ah, no! No, I don't! <laughs> you brought your friends! Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! Got him. See? I'm, I'm good. I'm good. It's, uh, eat a grape. That's kind of a waste, but... There we go. It also frees up a spot in my inventory. And nothing like free food, am I right? Alright. Uh, oh. Oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Well, good thing we filled up our health. Come on. Ah, 
Ah, oh, come on, come on. Ah, <laughs> oh, they're still coming. It's still green. Please, please. There you go. One more. Come on. There we go. Phew. Ah, oh. well, that was fun. Okay, we're getting lots of copper. Oh, I love this. I love this. All right. Going down here. Hopefully we won't... Well, that guy can just stay in there. I've got no real reason to get him. I just get him if they're convenient. I find it amusing that it can't fly over the rocks. <laughs> yeah, that, that feels like kind of an oversight. But whatever. Yeah, slime. More copper. More copper for tools and whatnot. Yeah, get through here. And there's really nothing. Okay, so let's wait a minute. Did I just get a geode? I think I just got a geode. Alright. Uh ladder, ladder, ladder. Where is the ladder? Another geode, that's nice. I like geodes. I was just talking to mom the other day about my uh, Annabelline story. And uh, yeah, this isn't really relevant to the current story that I'm writing. But uh, in, in, this, in this world that I built, there are these uh, massive mountains called the Craigs. K-R-A-I-G-S. And, uh, and I was going to have that inside them you can find massive geodes big enough to walk into. There we go. I really don't like it when those guys hatch. Speak of the devil. Uh, ow. Come on. Got it. Yeah. I really hope we find... Come on. There we go. I really hope we find a cave carrot today. It's already 7 p.m. So... We gotta keep that in mind. Alright. That's good. Uh, oops. Oh, I could get around that. Uh, da -da -da -da. More copper... There are a lot of stuff, a lot of things in, in Annabelline that, that I've uh, thought of, but you know, never necessarily made relevant to the story. Um, things like, yeah, th things like the, the counting system that the, uh, yeah, I referred to one of them as a slave before, but uh, they are essentially a um, kind of native population. Like, they they have um, spotty, stripy skin. Like, uh, you know, a, a lot like maybe a mix between a tiger and an ocelot. If, if, if you've ever seen an ocelot, you know how they have that kind of splotchy, you know, black on gold look. Uh, that's that's essentially what I'm imagining with them, and they have they have a whole lexicon that I've been building, uh, and uh, it's pretty cool. So many boxes. I love boxes. Boxes are full of stuff. Cave carrot! Yes! Yes, so now we can visit the community center. Uh, I don't even know which floor we're on. It's getting kind of late. 
And I do still want to go to the community center. Let's see if we can find the ladder before... Oh, there's the ladder. Uh, oh! Alright, back to zero. I, I don't care about bugs. It's getting late. We still want to visit the community center. My goodness, we have 41 copper ore. This is this is great. I love this. And uh, that's going to be very useful pretty soon. Going this way, going this way. Uh, not that. <laughs> I guess that's a garden or something. I wonder if the outside is going to start looking better eventually. Alright, so... Foraging? Like, geologist, adventurer... Right. Blacksmith? No. I could have sworn that there was... Oh wait, no, it was in the regular foraging area, wasn't it? Um, yeah, nice topaz, that's gonna be nice to sell. Uh... Yeah, my mother's birthstone is topaz, which is pretty cool. Mine's a mine's a sapphire, so that's nice. Uh, no, that's the summer foraging. Exotic foraging. Cave carrot! There we go. Now we're actually starting on that. Is there anything else I, I want to put in here? I don't think so. I do want to turn all this bug meat into bait. That's a lot of bait. And, uh, yeah. Who knows? Maybe, uh, maybe we've got enough here that, uh, that, you know, we'll, uh, go up to 2,000 next episode. We're already pretty close to 1,000. So, you know, maybe if we make tomorrow in, in the next episode, you know, a heavy, you know, we're gonna go out and make money day... You know, we could get the pickaxe upgrade or the or the axe upgrade uh, pretty quickly. All right, in in here, put that that keep the stone. The sap can go. Topaz can go. Oh, we got a hardwood out of that. That's nice. Oh, slime. Two slimes. Get the slimes. It's getting very, very late. It's getting very, very late. And I just want the slime. Oh no! I killed the grass! Oh, that's unfortunate. Alright. It is 12.30. We can do this. Uh, hardwood. Yes. Alright. Good night, everybody. I'll see you in the next episode. And uh, I hope you have a good one. And yes, we already did check the weather report. Clear and sunny tomorrow. All right. See you. Come on. There we go. A little bit of foraging. A little bit of fishing. 455 Gs. Nice. Good night.